Chapter 2 Spiders There was a living like that for a wild time where they lived together and had some spider sex. Sometimes, but only when Twilight felt extra sorry for Big Muck. Spider Ike was downstairs and crying lot hugs because he did not know cow where Twilight went to and Twilight wanted to go make Spike feel less odd but she was a spider and couldn't talk. Twilight Bella got bigger and bigger and she didn't know what was happening. And then Spider Mac Red Big said, Ah, uh, I think you might be getting ready to have spider babies. And Twilight said, What? And Big Mac said, Yeah. Except he couldn't actually make that word sound because he was a spider and doesn't have pony voice boxes anymore. Twilight was real sad and upset because spider babies were gross and creepy high and weird and she cried a little bit for Big Mark Red Spider gave her the biggest, most happy hug ever and said I always watching it to be a daddy. And even though I didn't want to be a spider daddy, I would try to be the best spider daddy ever and be here for you all the times and okay? And Twilight felt the most happy, but still was not happy at the same time. Then one day, Twilight had to lay a spider egg eggs, and in it was the most strangest. It felt like bubble wrap bubbles being pooped out. And then she was sad and upset again, but Big Mac Spider was to her the whole time and made her comfort. He brought her spider food, which was bugs and Twilight was finally okay with eating bugs, even told she wished she could eat vegetables and mushroom. But with Spider Big Mac's help, she and Koo, she had to eat them, bugs, to be alive, and being alive was more good than eating bugs was bad. So she did it, and was sad and upset, because the bugs were gross, but it was okay because she was a life. The big Max Spider helped her guard the eggs for many, 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 many days until one day the eggs were very big and had dark thins moving around inside of them and Twilight knew they were her babies and she was kind of happy a little bit and Big Mock was happy because she was happy and then she was even happier because Big Mac was happy but they didn't have a spider sex because Big Mac knew how much Twilight did in t like that because it felt weird. And also, she didn't want to have more babies. And neither did he, really. But he was ready to be the best spider daddy so that Twilight didn't have to worry. A after... A few more days, the eggs started moving, and they knew that the eggs were going to hatch, because Twilight was smart, and she knew all about eggs. They watched the egg pile of eggs move around, and then they heard little baby spiders.
spider clicks. And they knew it was the baby spiders. And they watched even more much. The eggs all hatched simultaneously, and a vast multitude of tiny spider links swarmed out in a screeching horde. Twilight and Big Mac started to scuttle away as quickly as they could, but they soon found that they were in no real danger. The spiderlings had no intention of killing their parents. They witnessed a solid black mass of itchy, screaming death cover every surface of the library. Millions of spiders continued to swarm out of the eggs. The flood seemed to be endless. Spike Lake curled up in his little dragon bed, moping. Things hadn't been the same since Twy's disappearance, and it had been over a week since he had any decent ideas about what to do about it. He was depressed and miserable. Suddenly, he heard a scratching, high-pitched noise coming from upstairs. His curiosity overcame his malachany, and he plotted up to investigate. He was intercepted by a solid wall of spiderlings pouring down the stairwell, which overwhelmed him almost instantly. Spike had just enough presence of mind to scream, but doing so did nothing but allow the swarm of spiders to access his lungs and stomach. The spiderlings drained his fluid for sustenance, and Spike died in horrible terror and agony. Chapter 3, Spider Day. All of the spiders ruined away from Twilight and Red spimmed the Mac, and Tate didn't know what to do because there were so many spiders of the eggs. Big Mac said, hey you spider babies, you are my spider babies, now listen to me. And the spider babies didn't listen because they were making too much noise. But they would have listened if they could because Mac Spider was their daddy. And they loved him. And their mommy Towelite more than any of the bugs, even the juicy ones. Big Mac Spider said to Twilight Spider, I am so sorry, I am the worst spider daddy, even though I promised I was going to be the best one, even sad face. Twilight felt really bad and sorry for Big Mac Spider, because she knew that he tried his best. And but, if there wasn't a biggest problem happening, she would have given him the hugs. Twilight thought hardest with having ideas and then had one idea. Spider Big, come here and help me, okay? And Spider Mac, is the all right. What do you want me to do, Twilight Aunt? Twilight said, I need yo to throw me into the spiders. And Red Mac said, are you sure? You taught spiders were creepy and weird. And Twilight said, Agnemal, but I need to do this, okay? Because Big Mac, we are spiders. And Big Mac said, okay. Big Mac picked her up by her legs with his legs, and three were at the spider babies. She screamed a little bit, but not really because she was trying to be brave like Rainbow Dash would be brave if she was a spider and flying at spider babies. Then finally, after falling for a time, she landed in the spider babies and they 
didn't know she was their mom because they were still just babies and crawling and Twilight Spider tried to click at them to stop, but they didn't know what to do because babies are confused, sod face. Big Mock watched all the babies carry Twilight away, and he felt most terrible and sad and said, It is my fault that Twilight is being carried away by spider babies because I was the one who had spider sex with her, and she made babies because sad face. I have to rescue her. He said.